back to another installment of ECIO and videos. This is part one, the introduction of a seven part series on using ECIO for implementing the PMI framework, forms, and processes. The value proposition here is that you're creating living documents versus your static uh, spreadsheets or your Word documents uh, that will allow you full traceability in the derivation of any of your project material. Your project files, artifacts, then can be left and stored for future follow-up and inclusion in your process asset library. These then can be uh, used later within lessons learned from this. So uh, we'll kind of start. Uh, typically, you would have your initial screen come up. If for any reason it might come up with a different back end, as most of you know if you looked at some of the other videos, um, you can just relink, go in, pick up your back end, um, and in fact, you can copy your back ends, rename them per your project, and then <clears throat> everything would be established on that. So you just would relink your database, your back end database, and you're good good to go. Um, one of the things that we have used, uh, there's lots of great books that talk about the PMI uh, uh, forms that you can go through. Uh, one of our favorites um, that we use is the Project Manager uh, Book of Forms. It does have a, a site that you can go to. You can pick that up. If you do uh, bring up and pick up this back end, you can go to the Amazon site. You click on the shopping cart and it'll uh, identify as in most cases any of uh, the books that we've kind of tied in and blended into it you can pick up this book uh, uh, by cynthia uh, it's a great book and in fact uh, we'll show you how ECIO, ecio kind of uh, shows you how uh, they go about or how we go about uh, generating uh, the material, how we go through the traceability, etc. on this side of it. But some of the details and some of the attributes uh, within each of these are, are, are very well explained through this book. Um, should you, um, you uh, and in fact, we encourage you to go and pick up that book and, um, uh, um, and use it for some of the background material that we may or may not, in fact, uh, get a hold of on this side of it. So, uh, <clears throat> so... As I mentioned, this is part one, um, and we're going to be showing you. Uh, part one is just the introduction of what we're going to how we're going to proceed within this one. So we're going to break this up. Part two is going to be on initiating forms. So we'll talk a little bit about how you go through uh, the project charter, how that gets actually generated, how you have the traceability, and then how you can actually generate a report that becomes a, more of a living document and it shows you how you arrived at each of the conclusions as you go through it and then you're allowed to, and then you can go through and backtrack some of the the material should you kind of go th go through this um, part three is going to be on planning forms and so here's all the planning forms that we have within it and so we'll go through each of those uh, planning forms uh, explain a little bit about uh, how it's done you can actually go through uh, see them some of the material on it uh, part part uh, four will be on the executing forms uh, so here are the listing of the executing forms part five is the monitoring and control forms um, so these are the forms from PMI we do have some other forms that you can kind of go through and and uh, do pick those pick those up and then there'll be part six is just on some of the closing activities. And then finally, uh, what we're going to be doing is, uh, is to, uh, part seven is going to be talking about frameworks, um, you know, where we can tie in the frameworks uh, for the PMI, if there's ITIL, any other frameworks that end up coming up. Uh, we're going to show you how those kind of get linked into all those forms and uh, show you that kind of cross-reference between those items. Um, and that concludes the introduction. Hope this was of some uh, use in kind of uh, getting uh, an idea of what's upcoming and uh, where your interest may be lying in for some of these. Um, our next video will be talking a little bit about the initiation forms part two and show you uh, how to go about uh, creating some of those uh, those active uh, living forms uh, within ECIO. 
uh, feel free to uh, send us a message at support uh, at uh, ecisolutions.com. Uh, you can go to our website, uh, order the front end. The front end uh, is, uh, we're planning on uh, being about $40 of the kind of the price of a book. And each of the back ends uh, will vary in prices, but we're trying to, trying to keep those down under $20. Uh, so it makes it um, um, affordable and then you can copy those back ends for your own um, use if you want to generate some of the other projects. Thank you for listening and uh, look forward to hearing back from you.